Welcome to the March Governor's Challenge. Our focus this month is going to be on storytelling and communications, and our content experts for the month are Sharon Rittenhouse, the district administrator, and also Marlene Heller. Rotary clubs in our District 7430 do such amazing work. Food drives, community cleanups, literacy projects, bike collections, global and district grant projects, fundraisers, the list goes on and on. Let's share all the great work our clubs are doing in Vibrant Club News, our district's newsletter published every other month. You can share projects you've done and upcoming events. It's also a great resource for ideas. Best thing is it comes to your inbox the 10th of every other month. Deadline to submit articles will be the 5th of April and June, our next issues. You'll wanna plan ahead a little. If you have Club Runner, you can link your events to the district calendar. Once you are on your club's website and you've logged in, go to your member area. You'll wanna scroll down and go to Events and Volunteering Event Planner. Create a new event. Put in your event name, the date of your event, the time, you'll want to add a description, Zoom links if you have them, you can upload an image, add the address, it's a live event, scroll down, show event in district calendar, you want to make sure that that is clicked yes, that way you'll be linked to the district calendar. Click save and you're all done. I'm the public image chair for Allentown West. In a former life, I was editor for a local newspaper and several magazines. So I have some insight on what editors want and don't want to see in the press releases that you send them. Most important, don't get fancy. Any formatting that you put in will be stripped out as soon as the press release is entered into the publication software. If you indent using your space bar, an editor is going to go in and manually take that out. Very annoying. Skip the indents and just leave a space in between paragraphs. Use a variety of descriptive words. Avoid TH words such as this and then, especially at the beginning of a sentence. Rather than say, there will be a question and answer period after the speaker. Try, a question and answer session will follow the talk. Do not write from your own point of view. Unless you are writing for your own club's newsletter, you should not be using words like we, I, our. Instead use the club, they, their, or use the name of the club. Don't use exclamation points. Unless you are quoting someone, it is unlikely that one belongs in a press release, but if you are quoting someone, be sure to get their first and last name spelled correctly and the town they live in. The town they live in may get you added coverage if the publisher owns more than one paper. If someone in your club receives, receives an honor such as Woman of the Year or an unusual number of Paul Harris's, send a press release also to their alma mater or the newspaper in their hometown. Small town newspapers eat this up. If you are new in your position, call the editor of the local small paper and introduce yourself. Ask for any tips or special needs of the paper or any hints that might help you to get your press release published. If you are including a photo with the article, put the caption at the bottom of your article with the word caption in caps before it. Include the name of the photographer Try not to use a cell phone camera if at all possible. Selfies, by the way, are rarely published. Always make sure when you are taking the photo that the subject fills the frame. Don't have so much sky and blank room at the top of the photos that you have cut people off at their knees. That's enough to get you started, along with the other items we've sent you. Feel free to contact me through District 7430 PI Group on Facebook if I or any of us can help you with your publicity.